Hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. I'm really glad you're here today. I'm out in my pasture looking at wildflowers for this summer collaboration. The biggest requirement was that it have something yellow and be a botanical. Well, that's right up my alley. So I looked amongst all the different yellow things that I have blooming and I finally decided on my mouse-eared hawkweed. That's right. These are a weed to many people. They are, I think they're just beautiful and I have them all over my property, but I know in some parts of the world they are a noxious weed that takes over. Here they don't really and I love them. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them in the dehydrator and I dehydrated them for about four hours, uh, the full bud, and uh, then after that I was able to take them out and they were completely dry and ready to use. Now what I did is I separated about I guess a quarter cup of the petals separate from this to add color to my main oil because I wanted to make sure that it had that yellow and I know that these hold their oil very well. And if you look down there at my oil, you'll see it's got a nice tint of yellow, but that's also because it has raw shea butter in it too. So I really wanted to accentuate the yellow. And then over there I have my light water with my goodness in it. And I put all that on the screen for you so you can see just what's included. Because while this is just a collaboration that we all do for fun, I still want it to be a good soap that I'm going to use. I'm making a very small loaf of this. In the past, I made a very large one, and I didn't need to do that this time. So this is my glycerin soap that I make myself, and I'll link to that video, so if you're interested in that, you can see it. Then I'm just embedding the flowers in it, because what I'm going to do is take this once it cures this embed and this will be going into my actual soap to my cold process soap and uh, yeah so that's really about it there's not a lot of complication to this but here's the odd thing the flowers turned red my yellow flowers in the glycerin turned red it was the oddest thing it's obviously a chemical reaction but it really is funny to me um, so luckily my soap is yellow but uh yeah I had just a lot of fun with this and being a part of something that so many other people are doing is such a great familial feeling. You know, it just makes it seem like we're all friends and connected. Now, the clue that you just saw there on the screen was the second out of five clues that are uh, how you win one year of my soaps. That's right. So I cut that piece that I made of the of my own glycerin soap and I cut those into strips. I put two on the bottom and then I pour some of the soap and then just add another strip. And then I had a leftover piece that I'm cutting up to put on top. I just didn't want this to be anything too complicated. Um, my soaps aren't. <laughs> and I'm sure that the other people in this calibration, uh, in this, yeah, in this, uh, collaboration, excuse me, are going to make much more beautiful soaps because they have some mad skills in piping and colors and I'm making mine one color, right? So, and I understand that that's not the showiest thing. This is just true to who I am. On top, I'm placing some more of the dried mouse-eared hawkweed just to add that little bit of je ne sais quoi, <laughs> a little something extra on top. Now I will tell you, because of the melt and pour that is in the center of the glycerin soap, I broke the wire. And I know that you can't cut uh, glycerin with a wire, but I thought because these were real thin strips that I just thought, oh, it'll cut right through that. But what I forgot about is inside those glycerin strips, they have the flowers. So the wire would cut through the glycerin and then get tangled in the flowers that it couldn't push down through and so I had to take it out so then I tried a straight edge that I had it couldn't get through it either so I brought out this big 
honking knife that I keep on hand and it was perfect it went right through it and uh, I was not displeased with how they turned out now again are they terribly showy no they're not but they're me <laughs> I'm not a terribly showy person either and uh, but they do the light shines through them so pretty and you can see the flowers through it and I just love them I've also included some photographs at the end and hopefully those show these in a little better light as well thank you so much everyone i hope you have a fantastic day goodbye